Hey guys, what's up? It's Ender. So when making a ship, have you ever tried putting a red alert system on it? For example... Pretty cool, right? Though, until recently, there's not really been much point in having them. However, ever since Warfare 2, you can use the setup action function in any seat, which can be used to trigger a tire block with the functions of the red alert system set up inside it to detect if a ship has been locked or not. Though in Space Engineers PvP, not everyone uses the vanilla target locking. Some people use things like LiDAR, Raycast, using scripts, using the cameras. But now, in the beta for the automatons, alongside the new AI blocks, we've also got the event controller block. So if we go have a look inside here, we'll see that there's lots of different events we can use. Altitude, angle changed, and then block added slash removed. So using this, we can detect if any block's been destroyed or added. This is useful, for example, if you're under attack, your block's getting destroyed, so you might want to set up a red alert system to alert you to the enemy presence. So all you need to do is simply go into select actions, find the timer block that you're using to trigger the red alert system. Then you take the timer, put it into the second slot of the toolbar, and then use trigger now. This should activate the timer block whenever a block is removed. I think the first one's for whenever a block's added, and we don't really want to have the red alert system go off when the block's added, because you might want to be adding stuff to your ship, I don't know. So, yep. So let's test this out, let's get a rocket launcher, and let's blow up something on the ship. Right, so let's, shoot, let's try shooting that block right there. And it's been destroyed, and the red alert system on the ship has gone off. So yes, it's kind of a PvE feature. For some, might see it as mostly decorative. Those things like these can be useful to alert you to your surroundings when you need to focus on other things. My main warship, the Anomalo Karas, has two flashing indicator lights on the back. One L for locked, and the other H for Hydroman. Using the setup that I talked about earlier, you can lock the ship, and then it'll start flashing to let you know that you're being locked. Or if enemy players are coming close to try and grind your ship, the Hydro Man warning light will come on, letting you know that you're under attack by Hydro Man and you need to either jump out or do evasive maneuvers to try and slap them against your hull. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope this has helped you in some way. Hopefully you might be able to find an actually useful way to implement red alert systems, not just decorative PvE things. So good luck if you're doing that, and I'll see you all later. And are out.